Ecuador's indigenous organizations mobilized nationwide in rejection of the economic and social policies of Guillermo Lasso's government. The first mobilizations began early Monday morning in several regions of the country with the blocking of the highway that joins the provinces of Pastaza and Napo. The protesters demand from President Guillermo Lasso the reduction of fuel prices, fair prices for agricultural products, more employment and respect for labor rights. The president of the indigenous confederation, Leonida Salazar, said that the actions of President Lasso respond to demands from the International Monetary Fund, while he assured that the people will not accept these impositions. And we cannot at this moment accept as normal that the President of the Republic continues to say yes to everything imposed by the International Monetary Fund. It is a very delicate issue because the President is either with the people or if he goes with the International Monetary Fund, this dignified people will not allow that imposition. We have met with all the comrades who are calling for this struggle on behalf of our children. We are old, but we don't want this country to continue to be a country of slaves as other countries are. Today we come from Castling Bajo to support our comrades from the community of San Miguel del Común and also to tell them and invite them to go to the city to continue denouncing this government that is starving us and taking away the future of these children. We're not going to allow this to continue. We're going to stop this misgovernment because it is leaving us without health, without education, without scholarships, without doctors.